please welcome Shannon Doherty, everybody. Lovely dress. Thank you. That's very exotic, Thanks. is it? It's like Somebody a... just called me Samurai Shannon. <laughs> it's clear. Because I was walking in, they were like, Samurai Shannon. It is. It's very kind of a ho high. Do you do the Be martial careful. arts? Uh, I, I actually did for a little while. When did you I was really? Doing what did you charmed do? Because of all the, the stunts. And I did all my own stunts. Did you really? So, uh, yeah. So you did martial Did you do the tie bow with Billy Blanks? You know, That's I, the, no, uh, God, no. I did it with our, our stuntmen who I, uh, are brilliant. So yeah. I don't really know what I form see, it stuntmen was, in Hollywood, I always think they're going to be really kind of fantastic and really kind of... And it's all just fat guys smoking cigarettes. Saying, That's my <laughs> motorbike. And that's it. <laughs> no, not ours. Right. Yeah, no, ours were pretty hot and they knew what they were doing. I see. They knew what they were doing in what way? <laughs> With the karate. And the oh, yeah, the karate. <laughs> oh, like. Tell me about the breaking up show. <laughs> the breaking uh, up with Shannon. Do you break up with guys on the show, or do you... I break up with everybody on the show. I right. break up with guys. I break up with girls, bosses. Well, you, 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 you help people break up? You yes. go into happily married couples and break them up? Or yeah. You, yeah. Uh, no. No, right, no. okay. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. You gotta listen, no. you see? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We never break up a married couple. Right. Never. Oh, there's no marriages broken up? No. <laughs> Where God were you when I needed you? Yeah. Um, <laughs> well, what's, well, what do you do then? It's a couple that wants to break up? It's, it's usually one person that really wants to break up that comes to me and says, here's the reason why I can't do it. I'm, I'm scared of confrontation or, you know, I've tried to break up with him or her and, and the, you know, they just kind of roll right over me and we're still together two years later and I'm miserable still. Right. And, um... And so then I take her on as a client, or him, right. and we take the person that we're going to be dumping, and we put them through sort of a funny scenario, a funny skit. Do you make them eat bugs and all that, like the fear factor? <laughs> You're going to be dumped and you have to eat bugs. Good news and bad news. <laughs> no, we try and do it where the skit will show uh, things about the relationship that's wrong. Right. So that, you know, they're watching the scenario and, and saying, mm, God, that's, that's not so good, and that's sort of is a reflection of my own relationship. And Between, then I... Who do you think's best, being dumped or, or, uh, or doing the dumping? Both are horrible. Yeah? Both are horrible. I think it's best to be dumped. <laughs> He's not wrong. I'm telling you, it's, be it's best to be dumped. Because to doing the dumping, then you're... The not only you're breaking up with someone, but you're, you're being a jackass as well. <laughs> You know what I mean? Like, you have to be a bastard about it. You're like, well, you don't really. I mean, oh, there are do. nice yeah, ways no, I do to do anyway, it. You yeah. do? So you're just mean to the women that you dump? No, I'm not mean. I do passive aggressive. I'm like, you know, it's not you, it's me. Oh, gosh, you're so great. You could do better. You know, hints like that. That's horrible. I'm a horrible guy. What I would can I tell see right you? through that. No, I don't know. Well, how do you get rid of something? Have you ever been in a relationship that didn't work out? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, well, how do you do it then? Yeah, this one. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, come on. Um, of course I have. Yeah? Um, and, uh... Do you I, have a plan, is what I'm saying? No, I don't have a plan. And, and I'm, I'm actually not very good at breaking up on my own. I, I tend to be a bit passive-aggressive as well. And right. I get very sort of turned off and, and try to do things to make them dump me. Right, because it's better to be dumped, is It is saying, better yeah. to be dumped, absolutely. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's hard hurting another person. Yeah, I think so. I think so. It, it, it would be difficult for me to imagine a time where I would, like, no, I'd like prefer to be dumped. Uh, yeah. 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 No, yeah, you're yeah. right. Yeah, yeah. It's Definitely true. better. So tell me about you. Where are you from then? Uh, originally? Yeah. I'm from Memphis, Tennessee. Oh, Memphis. I love Memphis. Do you? It's fantastic. Yeah, I went there. Did you go to Graceland when you grew up there? Um, I think I went when I was a kid, yeah. Oh, it's fantastic. And they've got a great police museum in Memphis. I wouldn't know. I, I moved from there when I was like seven, so I don't Where really remember here? that much. Yeah. All right. To be in show business? No. Uh, my dad moved your, the, your family the family moved for here. his business. All right. What, what business was he in? He was in, <laughs> he was in uh, transportation. Oh, Okay. <laughs> no, he's, right, and he's from Jersey. Yeah, right. Okay. Uh, I'm, now I'm scared. Yeah, yeah you should be. Yeah, no, no, no. Uh, no, my daddy's great. Do you still have family down in in, uh, in Mississippi? They in all Mississippi. they all moved to Mississippi. Mississippi, where on the Mississippi? Gulfport. Oh, really? Do you know that the Mississippi, when they founded the Mississippi, the, the, the town of Memphis, the guys who founded it thought that the Mississippi was going to be the Nile of America, so they called 
Memphis, Memphis, because that used to be the capital of ancient Egypt, Memphis. Did you know that? I had absolutely no idea. Isn't that, isn't that interesting? That is pretty Not interesting. Not that interesting, but a bit interesting. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know how long I'll actually retain that information. Well, you know, it's amazing how it hangs around in your head after Does a while. It? Yeah, because somebody told me that, and I thought, oh, I'll never remember that. And here I am, and then, years and later, talking to you about it. it. Yeah, I, never, I didn't even know I remembered it. And, and I and, remember and, it. And look at that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we all just learned something. Yeah, yeah, I think, and I think we've all learned it. Can anybody be... really repeat what he just said, though? Yeah, the, the, something happened, and Memphis, the, and Nile, Memphis became. Got yeah, it. yeah, yeah. We've got to take a break, and we'll be right back. We'll be right back with Shannon Dorothy, everybody. <laughs> I'm here with Shannon Doherty. Do you have something to say about that? I thing? do. Yeah. Okay, that was taken slightly out of context. All right, okay. <laughs> because I come across incredibly harsh and mean. And the truth is, is that that guy, it, it, in the scenario that we put him in, broke it to his girlfriend who was watching. He didn't know he was, you know, on cameras. That he had another live-in girlfriend who was helping him pay his bills, etc. And then his excuse was, well, I'm a player, and this is what I do, and she can just deal with it. And the girl was devastated, crying, and uh, and so I, I I may have gotten a tad bit vicious. Yeah, that's all right. <laughs> I think it's all right to get emotionally involved. It's not like you're a cop yeah, or something. I mean, you, you can know, get involved. You can... When I see somebody really hurt, then yeah. then uh, then obviously I'm going to get. And you're a, you're a producer of this show as well, I am, right? Yes. Yeah. So you're the boss. I, I'm one of the bosses. Yeah. Are you a good boss? I think I am. Yeah. Uh, I think I'm a good boss because I'm I'm more on the creative side. Right. You know, like the open that that you first showed that clip was my idea. We couldn't really figure out how to open up the show. Yeah, and, so the Chris Isaac thing. Yeah, yeah it was very I, good. Yeah. Thank you. Um, that was my idea, and I I was really into it, and Oxygen supported me. So I think I'm a good boss in that sense that I can come up with good ideas. Yeah, and also if you were a bad boss, they wouldn't tell you. They would just no. <laughs> they'd go, no, you're you're a great boss. It's, it's fantastic. So true. They would but never I think tell of me. you as just being uh, not just being, but as being an actress. That's what you do. That's your yes. thing. But you've been on the View as well, weren't you? Didn't you do one of the little co-hosting gigs there as I well? I did. I did two days of co-hosting in the View. Did you have fun on that? Because I've been on that show. I did. Yeah. I, you know, it's a little intimidating your first day because you go into the makeup trailer and there's a legend, Barbara Walters, mm -hmm. and. Um, Joy, who has very strong opinions, who yeah. I actually adore, uh -huh. and Elizabeth, and, and it's everybody discusses sort of the topics of the day and, and what they want to discuss. They had me on during breastfeeding week. <laughs> <laughs> not kidding. I'm not kidding. I was sitting really? there, yeah, I was like a fly in the ointment sitting there. I'm like, uh, I don't know. <laughs> what do you think about breasts? I like them. And that was it. That's all I had. You know, I'm all for them. You know, uh, but. What an odd I know it was funny, yeah. I don't know. I, don't, I, don't, I felt kind of out of place. Yeah, no, I, yeah. Would, I would think that you would be out of place. You have been portrayed in, in the press on occasions as being a bit of a character, like being a wild girl, a party girl. Are, is like that, that true? I, is that I, like I, you? That's probably the best way I've ever heard it put. That it is? <laughs> that you're a bit of a character? I'm, I'm a bit of a character. I, I really well, are you? like that. Is, is it really you, or is, uh, you know, are you really that kind of... You know, I mean, look, I, I, I always say that there's a tiny bit of truth in everything, but um, I, I think that the things that I did when I was 18 mm -hmm. are normal things to do when you're 18 years old. Right. You go out, you drink, you have fun, you live your life, you have bad relationships, you have good relationships, you grow up. I did it under a microscope, um, yeah. and then they just sort of, you know, it had a snowball effect, and, and they've never let it go. It's sort of, I haven't really done anything in like the last seven years right. to, to cause anybody to write about me, and yet they still do, and they still sort of pin this, you know, bad girl or character type label to me. Right, yeah. And, um, but you're I, actually I mean, it not... gets old. It's pretty tired yeah, at this yeah. point in my life. So you wouldn't, like, for example, go out and dance in a party and do all that kind of stuff now that, you know, dance... I mean, would I go to my friend's party and dance? Probably. Yeah. yeah. Well, you know, be careful because. Uh, <laughs> I, am, uh... I see, I don't know. It's I'm funny that because I think that because you, you were very, very young when you got all this kind of attention. And I thought, you know, if there were any cameras on me when I was that young, which I would have loved, I'd have been in jail. You know, I. <laughs> it's true. Did you, ever, did you ever go to jail? I did once. Yeah, how was that? It was horrible. Yeah, it's not I, good, is I, it? I didn't I like it. I actually deserved to be yeah. there, but it was, it was horrible. I didn't. I was stitched up. <laughs> no, I deserved to be. What did you go for? Oh, 
let's just roll right past oh, that. Really? I, didn't, I didn't know because I when I went, I was you know fighting and drinking. And uh, mine like was it. stupidity. Oh, stupidity. Yeah. That's a crime. Unforgivable <laughs> really? stupidity. Wow. Yeah. 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 Well, there's a yes. lot of people I'm going to have arrested after this show. <laughs> How about that? It's been very, very lovely to talk to you. Shannon Doherty, everybody, we'll be right back. <laughs> it's like Jay Leno is a fly. I'll be back in uh, eight months. Uh, <laughs> can never get rid of him, can you? <laughs>